getting closer, but it will never end. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Oh, I want my hair to dry fully. Blow dried it a little bit, but I don't like to do it so much that it fries it because I don't want to do damage. But I needed to do something. It feels kind of grody because I, I washed it last night and I didn't want to wash it again this morning. I don't want to wash it that often. So I just got it wet and then I put some leave-in conditioner in it. And it just feels kind of... <laughs> Anyways, I'm starving. I'm starving and I would normally have eaten already. It's quarter to 12, but where can I set you? That's horrible lighting, but it'll be okay. Today's Saturday, March 2nd, and I wanted to film something to post tomorrow. And I knew that if I came down those stairs without my hair and makeup done, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> it would not happen. So I had to take the extra time to get ready. I don't really have any major plans for today other than coffee other than relaxing and coffee and um, filming a video. Amelia texted this morning and said, Henry and I miss you, can we come over? And I'm like, sure, bring me that baby. So they're coming over when he wakes up from his nap. So I'm not sure when that will be. So I'm just gonna start doing what I do and if they get here before I'm done, I'll take a break and visit with them. So we're going to start with coffee and breakfast. I apologize if this is shaky. I have to film on my phone and hold it because I can't find my tripod. <laughs> Explain to me how in this little house, I mean, it's not little, but it's not huge. You can lose a whole tripod. How does that happen? Hang on, Spomi just said look in the coffee table. Hang on, let's look together. It's not there. Love you you're so awesome thank you okay now i'm settled i had to go get my bagel out of the toaster oven <laughs> and how do you guys like your bagels i like mine with peanut butter and cinnamon sugar i know if you're not from america a lot of times people are like what <laughs> yeah they don't eat a lot of peanut butter or a lot of cinnamon unless it's christmas time me, every day is a good day for cinnamon. Oh, that's good. I'm so happy he helped me find my tripod. I asked for help finding it the other day and they didn't give it to me. So I was, I don't know, I had kind of given up. Like I still couldn't find it. But today, clear as day, I was like, I heard look in the coffee table. Thanks, Boom. I have such a headache today. <sighs> you know, the energies the last few weeks, I don't know if you guys have been feeling it too, but the energies have been insane. Holy moly. Strong energy and uh, like trouble sleeping, trouble functioning through the day, just strong energy, almost overwhelming at times. Um, I feel like in the last few days it's calming down a little bit though. <laughs> like um, it's settling at least a little bit. I know it's going to ramp back up because eclipse season is coming and that's always intense for me personally. You too, I'm not sure. Um, but I feel like at least for right now we're getting a little bit of a reprieve. However, today I have a really bad headache. So look at this shit show. 
Do you remember my flower beds that I worked so hard on? Yeah, they're all gone. That was where several of the new plants and bushes I had purchased grew or were planted. Over here. That was my stone path that goes out by the fire pit. Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Kind of pissed. They have destroyed my yard. Just destroyed it. I asked them yesterday, you guys know that you're going to be replacing all of my landscaping and building a new path, right? And they're like, yeah, we figured we were going to have to. I just don't understand why it was necessary to cause this much destruction to just remove the pavers, re-level it, and put the new pergola up. I'm just beside myself why this level of chaos and destruction of the rest of my yard was necessary. I'm so... I don't even have words. nothing going on. There's nothing going on. So anyways, um, today is Easter. If you celebrate Easter, uh, I don't celebrate the religious aspects of Easter, but I definitely celebrate the candy and <laughs> Easter dinner. Oh my gosh, it's so dry in this house. I need a humidifier. I threw my old one out because it felt like it was getting a little grody. So anyways, I just got out of the shower and um, I'm going to dry my hair and whatnot. I'm going to wear it straight today because it's just easier. At this length, it looks better straight, so I wear it straight. My kids, well, at least some of my kids are coming over around three for Easter dinner. So I just have to worry about cooking the ham, the deviled eggs, and the rolls. So I need to clean my house. It's a little out of hand. <laughs> I need to clean my house and I need to do the laundry and I need to Oh my God, see this is how my brain works. I just told you what I needed to do. Oh, and I need to cook. <laughs> I'm like, I just told you what I needed to do. And it's already gone. But, um, so yeah, I need to do the laundry, straighten up the house. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just my kids coming, but um, I have a lot of clutter on the countertops. I have some doom piles going. And so I need to get those cleaned up and We'll go from there, see where the day takes us. Oh, and in less than an hour, my root chakra video goes live. So I need to be down there for that premiere. That's exciting. And um, the energy right now is just crazy pants with this eclipse and Mercury retrograde. And we're in the shadow of the full moon. Things are a little intense at the moment. <clears throat> so last night, uh, Kathy and I, my friend Kathy, went to a Reiki sound bath meditation. And normally I leave those things glowing like a neon sign. They just light me up and fill me up. And yesterday it made a little bit of a dent. But like the energy was just woof. 
Kathy's like, I feel like Kathy always goes like 10 miles away, 10 universes away. She like instantly goes into this meditation trance and she's visualizing all kinds of stuff. And yesterday she's like, that was horrible. I feel like I got beat up. She's like, I feel awful. My head hurts. Everything's so bad. I need another one of those because I feel horrible. So anyways, if you're feeling these energies, uh, don't think that it's just you if you're struggling because it's not just you. It is eclipse season and this eclipse season be seasoning. The eclipse be eclipsing. So today's baby Henry's first Easter. And he, oh, he's so cute. I got him a little stuffed bunny and Emma got him a little stuffed duck. So cute. God, I just brushed my teeth and I feel like my breath is kicking. I hate that. Why? It's because I'm so thirsty. I haven't had anything to drink yet. My body's like, you're dehydrated. Mouthwash all down my shirt. Because you know, would I even really be me if I didn't dump stuff down my shirt? <laughs> okay, so you guys have short hair and you do not have one of these spin brushes what are you even doing with your life <laughs> i wish i had bought one so long ago my gosh it's such a time saver so i'm just gonna put a little straightening heat protecting whatnot in my hair and then i'm just gonna blow this out real quick and get about my day i want coffee <laughs> and coffee can you guys see this I mean, I have some pretty good scars going from my arm surgery anyways, but after my surgery, I kept telling the surgeon something is not right. There's like this little pocket here where that's like where the nerve damage starts. Everything starts getting numb and tingly from that point forward. And he's like, that's impossible. I saw your nerves. I visualized them. There's nothing wrong. I'm like, there is. I'm like, look at this. It doesn't even look normal. It's like, it's like a little poochy pouch it's like something got sewn wrong <laughs> something stuck and he's like no you're wrong of course he did and um I'm like I'm not wrong and he's like give it a few weeks it, it's just surgical swelling give it a few weeks it'll go down well sir if you're ever watching this <laughs> it has been how long has it been four years it's been four years nothing's changed I was right <laughs> and you were wrong <laughs> every Capricorn in the universe just went oh, <laughs> I love being right <laughs> As my hair grows out and it gets to this stage, I have trouble not feeling like Malin from St from Steel Magnolias. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Shelby was right. It does look like a brown football helmet. Oh my God. I posted so a meme from that the other day where Clary was saying, it's time for the Easter Bunny. And a couple of people were like, I have no idea what movie that's from. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> that's like my favorite movie ever. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that movie. When I was pregnant with Courtney, I was 18. I had been married for about a year and living away from home. We were stationed at Fort Polk, Louisiana. I lived in a little trailer in the woods in Leesville, Louisiana. And I mean, it was 1991. <laughs> 
There was no such thing as cell phones. We didn't even have a phone. We couldn't afford a phone. We had to walk to the trailer park down the road uh, and use their pay phone. We had cable a couple of times, but it didn't last long because we didn't have the money. And so during one of the times <clears throat> that we had cable, I had recorded onto a VHS tape. I had recorded Steel Magnolias and she's having a baby with... Kevin Bacon and who's in that with him? Is it Elizabeth Perkins? She played the mom on Downton Abbey. She played Lady Mary, Edith and Sybil's mom. Lady, whoa, what's her name? Lady Downton, you know what I'm talking about. And my friend Maribel lived two trailers down from me. <laughs> and we were both pregnant together and our husbands were both in the same company. And so they were always gone together. And she and I would just, I remember we scraped up whatever change we could find in the couch. I hit my couch, she hit hers. We hit all the pants pockets and we came up with like a dollar. We came up with just enough money to go down to the Diamond Shamrock and buy one Snickers bar. <laughs> we split it. And then we sat there watching movies, but we would watch these movies every single day on a loop for the whole year that we were pregnant. Steel Magnolias holds a very special place in my heart. If you have never seen it, go watch it. It will, it's one of those movies that like no other movie makes me both laugh as hard as I do and ball my eyes out. I've literally seen it a thousand times plus and I will still cry every single time. Every time. Malin gets me every time. She'll be like, I can jog all the way to Texas and back, but my daughter can't. Shelly was right. This is wrong. Oh, oh, honey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. That movie would not be that movie without Olympia Dukakis playing Clary Belcher. Oh my God, she's my favorite character in any movie ever. I swear, Clary is the reason that movie is so good. <laughs> Where she's like, hit him, Lynn. That is on you. I just want to get something. I want to hit him hard. Here, hit this. Go ahead, Malin. Swap her. Are you crazy? Hand up. Are you high, Clary? Hey, have you lost your mind? We'll sell t-shirts saying I slapped Weezer Boudreaux. Hand up. Yes, Clary. Weezer, this is your chance to do something for your fellow man. Oh. Knock her rights out, Malin. <laughs> Let go of me. Malin, you just missed a chance of a lifetime. Half a chickapin parish should give the eye teeth to take a whack of Weezer. <laughs> Half a chicken pen parish would give their eye teeth to take a whack at Weezer. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I am a big Steel Magnolia nerd. And, um, God, just the best. What's your favorite quote from Steel Magnolias? I have a bunch. <laughs> and my favorite, and I say it to people all the time and I guarantee most of them have no idea what I'm talking about and just think I'm crazy. But like, uh, my favorite line is when she's like, Weezer, you know I love you more than my luggage. <laughs> Weezer, you know I love you more than my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> I tell that to people all the time, like, you know I love you more than my luggage. And they're like, mm, okay, I don't understand, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so not much has changed with my pergola situation. They had... <laughs> <laughs> well, it changed and then it went back. 
they had come over to start putting up the pergola. They, we ordered it in a kit and they started putting it up and I was thinking, I don't like that. It looks cheap. It looks like it's not gonna be sturdy. Like my old one was made out of like all solid four by fours and whatnot. It was solid. And this was like little pieces that were all joined together. There wasn't one long board. I just, but I wasn't gonna say anything. I should have, but I didn't. I did say something, however, about the fact that they had, they poured these concrete, I don't know if you can see it, can you see? Can you see the little round concrete things where the feet of the pergola are supposed to go? And when they were putting that up, the feet were like sitting half on and half on that they weren't lining up no matter how they tried. So I had sent a message to um, the guy handling, he's the operations manager. And he's like, I said, uh, this isn't looking right. And he's like, that's impossible. I poured it myself. I'm like, and yet here we are. It's not looking right. <laughs> and he kept arguing with me and trying to mansplain to me. And I'm, you know, if you are a subscriber of this channel and you are a man, I love you. <laughs> but all the other men. <laughs> and uh, they are not easy to work with when you're a woman. And so anyways, he kept arguing with me. And I finally just said, I tell you what, why don't you just stop by in the morning? Say hi to your workers and you take a look at it. You tell me what you think. So the next thing I know because they had it up, it was up, it was put together. The next thing I know, he's knocking on my door and he's like, yeah, that ain't right. I'm like, see? <laughs> he's like, I don't like that. I'm like, I don't either. He goes, and I don't like the whole thing. It looks cheap and like it's put together. <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't talk. <clears throat> this week of allergies has been horrible. It's playing havoc on my throat. Anyways, he says, I don't like the whole thing. It looks cheap and like it's gonna be unstable. I'm like, yes, I thought the same thing. He goes, I think we're gonna return that and I'm just gonna build you one myself. I'm like, look, as long as it looks good and it is sturdy, don't bring me any, I was like, don't bring me any bullshit, boy, because make it look good. He goes, oh no, no, it'll look great, it'll look great. I'm like, mm-hmm, okay. So, they were supposed to start on that on Thursday. Today is Sunday. I have not seen or heard from them. Kind of par for the course with this company by now. Anyways, I need coffee before I get too cranky. <laughs> so anytime that a video goes live on Sunday mornings, chances are I am sitting here just like this. I'm watching it with you guys. And I am responding in the chat to all of the live chatting going on. So if you haven't ever joined me for a premiere, make sure you do sometimes say hi to me. Today we are talking about the root chakra. Alexa, play Cowboy Carter by Beyonce. Playing Cowboy Carter by Beyonce from Apple Music. Have you guys been binging this album? confused. Come with me. I want to show you something. So I'm straightening up my bookshelf. See my deck of tarot cards up here, right? If you know tarot, you know that this is the light seer's tarot. I'm like, oh, let me put it back in the box. Here's the box. It's awful heavy. 
because it's full of cards. What the hell? That's literally the same card I just showed you on the bookshelf. I think. But how is that a thing? How <laughs> are there still cards in the box? And there's cards here. <laughs> Did I just catch a glitch in the matrix <laughs> on camera? What? Oh my gosh, it's so weird. dinner is done. Uh, I can talk more about that in a little bit. For now, I am freezing and I am achy and my joints and my bones hurt. So I think I'm going to relax in a nice hot bath. I'm going to put some Epsom salts in the bath and turn on an audiobook and just relax. I am going to use my favorite um, Epsom salt. <laughs> the name of it. I just said it. Hang on, let me show you. This Dr. Teal's Soothe and Comfort with oat milk, argan oil, and essential oils. Oh my god, it smells so good. The smell of this stuff is intoxicating. It's so good. So anyways, very relaxing. I am going to climb in the bathtub and relax. I'll see you in a little bit. So it is the next day. It is the first. And uh, I'm going to replace the cinnamon stick over my door. And I'm going to blow some cinnamon through the front door to welcome abundance. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you blow cinnamon through your door. And wherever the cinnamon blows, abundance flows. And the important thing is don't sweep it up for at least 24 hours. So I have cinnamon in my hand, cinnamon in my hand. Where the cinnamon blows, abundance flows. Where the cinnamon blows, abundance flows. Where the cinnamon blows, abundance flows. Look at this Amazon package that came. Tell me you're a shady driver looking to steal something without telling me. Look at that thing wide open. shady ass drivers. <laughs> Anyways, then go wash your hands and rub the cinnamon in. So dinner went well yesterday. Um, it was kind of busy and hectic in here, so I didn't film a whole lot. Um, we were supposed to eat at three. So Courtney and I had our food ready at three and Amelia showed up with just ingredients. So we had to wait for her to cook her food. And, um, so then we finally ate and because it was kind of hectic, she had forgotten the dessert she was making in the oven and it burned it to a crisp. It was just <laughs> charcoal. So rest in peace to my muffin tins. Rest in peace, rip buddy. Yeah. 
they were burnt beyond repair. <laughs> we um, tried to scrape everything out and then I had them soaking overnight and tried to scrub them and like, I'll just buy new ones. <laughs> it's okay. Bless her heart. And she felt so bad, but what are you gonna do? Burnt dessert happens. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it and uh, I am going to go relax for the rest of the day because I really don't have a lot to do and I love it because that's rare <laughs> and I'll take it. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.